parcel in shed. Well, that's a lie because the parcel's actually right here. Hello, it's me again, and guess what? We're doing another one of these. And the Daff's here, so you know what I mean when I say these. Hello, Daff. Hello. This is a feature now. Yes, so that's going to go over there. We've got a box, and it's actually really flattened. It's got stuff in it, and we're not wasting any time in opening it up because it's going to be full of crap and stuff that I shouldn't spend money on because I'm kind of broke. Tra -la 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 -la. And I probably should open these before we actually do the videos. Anyway, um, how is everybody's day going? Is it all very well and spiffing and shiny? Mine's okay. I managed to not stick the boss in a hedge today, which is always a good thing for your career. Now, let's get cracking. The first thing is a piece of cardboard with these marks, obviously made when I did that. Hmm, and that's why you don't open anything that's delicate with a screwdriver. Conveniently, this is not delicate. Oh, okay, immediately, immediately, I can see everything that's in the box, which is a bit of a disappointment, but I can see there's some interesting looking things there. And we're gonna need something from the other box that we did maybe a week ago, two weeks ago. I oh, I just broke that, damn it. Uh, I don't actually remember. Um. Uh, because I totally didn't film them like a day after each other and then do it on YouTube and oh my gosh, what? Uh, we'll come back to that one. No, we won't. Jump cut. I, I broke the thing here by mistake when I was going through the box, but that's fine. I also managed to stop the recording, which means even if I don't do anything special, this definitely has to go onto my computer to do editing. And we're going to start with this one because um, when I looked at the auction eBay link, there's a clue. Uh, I noticed this one and it's what made me buy it because it's reminiscent. Because if you've ever looked at my, excuse me, my bag of toys, you know that I actually have one of these already. In much worse nick. This bit is loose on my one, but not on this one. So yes, uh, this is actually one of the only reasons I brought this one. Like, it's the only one I remember. It's the Mod Rod, made in England, 1971 by Lesney. And it's got very nice. It's actually, actually, I quite like that. That's a that's a good one. That goes there. That one, these all look like Matchbox cars as well. They're not like the last lot we did. That were a mix of everything. These all look like good quality cars. A good job lot that cost a fair bit more. Let's move on to what I'm assuming is some Lesney. Uh, it looks like there would have been something there originally. I think this is some kind of skip lorry. Skip tipper. It's a Bedford DK7 ton. Oh, it's not. Mm -mm. Patent pendant made in Great Britain. Oh, it's Husky. This is the second Husky car thing that we've had whilst doing this series. Oh, I, I thought that was Lesney, but I suppose looking at the wheels, they are thinner and crapper. Well, it's a Zedford seven-ton truck, um, and it's husky. It doesn't roll very well, but what can you expect? No years on that one. I was given some information. Oh, we've had one of these before. The Bedford Breaker. Uh, this is well, it's a Ford Transit Wrecker. That's it. A Ford Transit Wrecker. This is the second one of these that we've had in two videos. As you know, we had another one that had a different skin, um, and they both have the same problem, which is that the wheels are more or less locked in place. So the wheels turn on. The wheels do sort of turn a little bit. It's the rear wheels that are stuck on this one. This is in better nick than the other one, but it is knackered. And, as, you know, it's corgi wheels. It seems to be a problem. It's probably why corgi doesn't make good shit anymore. How about a construction group van with absolutely buggle, buggered, absolutely buggered suspension? Obviously, whatever they've been constructing, they've been putting in the back of this single piece van, and it's absolutely screwed the suspension up. This is number 8031, made in China, and they've got a little bit of detail on the bottom. I like it when cars put detail on the bottom. There's no need to, but they do it anyway. But yep, yeah, oh god. Power! Power! Thank you, Jeremy Clarkson. What's this? Oh, uh, this is cheapy feeling, cheapy paint job, terrible. It's got a trailer hook, though, um, which is just a nub on the end. It's a trailer hook with a nub. There's not actually a hook, which defies the point of trailer hook. And it is, once again, just made in China. Chrome type bottom, a little bit of detail. It rolls all right for what it is. It's obviously a fairly recent copy. And that one gets to stay in its wheels, but nothing too exciting there. Now, what on earth is this? Uh, I can sort of see in the box a little bit better here than I can before on the previous ones because it's so low. I mean, you know, that, that's that's how low it is, so there's no secret here. This feels 
weird. Is that plastic or... Hang on. And that's definitely metal, and I've definitely just caught some kind of tetanus or something worse than that. This is plastic, and those weirds, wheels are weird. Oh, it's Corgi Juniors, made in Great Britain. It's a mobile crane. I mean, I could have guessed it was a mobile crane. Mobile crane that's uh, had some theory of structural damage. Um, does this go up and down? Oh, it does. Well, I'll be. Can we crane the Bedford truck? with it? It's broken, but can we do it? Yes, this is how we're going to do it. And that's why they're in terrible condition. Because the crane operator is a 12-year-old moron in a 30-year-old's body. Soon to be 31. God help us all. Wells... Cargo, I'm going to guess. This is a very matchboxy feely car with a number plate on the front. So it's got, actually, it's got this little plastic light on the top. And to be fair, if we can get a lovely focus on that, that's actually in quite good condition for it. I can't focus it. That's, you can see there's a scratch on the top like a dent, but that's actually in very good condition for a light on a car from, I'm assuming, the 70s. They don't normally survive very well. Armoured truck, Lesney, 1978. We've got an armoured truck. It's a bit like Margaret Thatcher's... Um, She had an armoured van, didn't she? Uh, a bus, rather. She had an armoured bus made up. It's on sale at the moment for about 25 grand. Um, and it was literally just a bus. They took a load of armour plating and systems to deal with radiation and everything else. But Margaret Thatcher was a... You know what? This channel's not going to be monetized, so I can say it. Margaret Thatcher was a bitch. Okay? That's all I have to say. But that's, that's quite nice. I actually kind of like that. I don't like the boxy design in general, but knowing it's meant to be armoured actually makes it sense, and the time period as well sort of fits in for this. That's, that's quite nice. We're going through these at a much quicker pace than we do normally, probably because I want to. This one has opening doors, which means it's a winner. I love it when the doors open because they... And then they get shot by the Germans, and they lose a wing, and they crash. And everybody dies, and we haven't even looked at the bottom, which means it's a matchbox. It's a Maserati, Maserati Bora, 1972. Yep, yeah, it's like um, that beetle, which we've got down here, which I'm not going to search. And the other beetle, which Pidge is just being Pidge. Uh, it's got the older Lesney type wheels that are not quite, as far as I care, quite the super fast ones that we know and love, but are getting there. They're almost there. I mean, this one does as well, actually. So we've got two fairly aged cars with the slightly older wheel designs. I don't think um, the other one of these I have upstairs has the wheel design, but I could be wrong. Uh, but yes, I like that a lot. And it's even still got its number eight sticker on the front. If the paintwork was good, that would actually be a really nice car. I mean, it's a really nice car anyway, but if the paintwork was good, because even the doors still have their sort of, um, you know, they, 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 don't, they don't close unless you make them. It's a very satisfying sound. Just, just listen to this ASMR. No, really nice car. Really like that. I can see a Corgi I want to look at. But I'm trying to pick the ones out at the back because I can see those. Um, oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. This reminds me of a cars I had as a kid that didn't survive. The basic made in China knockoff. Probably more recent, I want to admit. But, God, that reminds me. That reminds me of my childhood more than it should for a cheap plastic car. It's like uh, they used to get a lot. You still get them today. They'd be like, you know, you from Chinese 10 sets. Like I've got a bus up there that's from this airport set. I've got a couple of vehicles still, but the bus is the one that I remember. And, you know, you get like 20 vehicles for like a tenner, like nothing. Well, not a ten or a five, or not much back in the day. And they'd all be this sort of very cheap metal, and they just have this look and this feel about them that you know they're cheap and nasty and knock off, and they will never be as nice as something like this. But there's something endearing about them that you really like, and I, I can't put my finger on it. Uh, but this car, if you can't tell by the way I'm just going on, I don't even think it's that old, but uh, if you can't tell by the way I'm going on, this car has just earned a place in my heart, and I don't know other than what I said why? Jesus Christ, I'm about to start crying if I keep looking at that thing. Let's have a look at this police car instead. Now, I don't recognise the wheels straight away. It's got police on it. It's a genuinely, like, I kind of judge how heavy metal is. It just sounds stupid by how cold it is when you first pick it up, because I'm a moron. But that's really heavy casting. Like, that's on your, your Lesney style. I think it's even heavier. It's a damn heavy car. I haven't got any scales, so we can't check. Who's it made by? It's Corgi. 
It's a Jaguar XJS. Now, this is the third Jaguar. I, I thought it looked familiar. It's the third Jaguar XJS we've had. And the second one we've had in um, past videos. But unlike... Um, oh, gosh. Are we going to jump cut again? I was going to say, unlike this one, which is from the previous box, which is right down there because I said I am recording this like two days after. Um, I was going to say this one is metallic and this one isn't. No, they're, they're both metallic, but they have different wheels. You know, you can see the design there is different. They're both XJS. Might, ah, that might be it. One is Corgi and one is Corgi Juniors. One is Corgi, Corgi Juniors. Corgi, Corgi Juniors. Really nice, like that a lot. Um, I like this one still as well. I am definitely keeping this one, but this is from a different video, so that's not relevant to this particular topic. But we're on the topic of police cars, so let's have what I assume is another Corgi, which you can't see. Do, 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 do. Yes, you go around them up over there. And ran. Ah, I need more room. Box, okay, I'm putting the box over here. Nino, Nino, Nino. And they're all dead. Revealing that this is a Corgi Juniors, a Buck Regal. Oh, we like Bucks. Now, oh, I was about to say, it's missing its light. No, it's not. You see, there's a hole there, and there's the light inside. Yep. Um, that's a shame. If I can get that out, I will, but somehow I don't think I will. It also looks like there's, um, it looks like a window or something, or a driver. There's something else in there. Now, if you look, I keep putting it in the wrong place, camera's in the wrong place. You see that right there where the orange is? There's a thing on top of it. It's gonna be the bottom of this, which holds the lights in place, has snapped. Which is a shame, because looking at this Corgi, this is in bloody good condition, minus that one issue. Its stickers are damn good, I mean, especially that one. Its paintwork is flawless. I have no idea how old it is, I'd assume it's 90s. But that's in really, that's one of the nicest condition cars we've ever had looking at YouTube. And unfortunately, the light's buggered, which is a real shame. And I bet you I did that by shaking the damn thing, so now I'm kind of cross with myself. And have some more Matchbox ASMR. Let's just uh, combine the Matchbox and the Leslie and the Corgi with the, uh, the clip. Right, that's enough of that crap. Right, we'll put these over here because uh, we do need these all in the uh, the firing line as such, you know. I'm, and that one that has taken me by heart. Where did I put it? I put it over here, didn't I? Oh, I'm just moving it means that we can do it. Right, let's get this one done quickly because we've seen this one before. We've already had one of these. This one doesn't have a horrifically burnt bottom. However, its axles are a bit screwed. I've got another one of these upstairs as well, a bloody green one. But yes, NASA, that's the third duplicate we've had now. Three duplicates in these videos. We're starting to find out what the common cars are. What about this beetle, which is apparently missing something? I have a friend who likes beetles. I might give it to her, and she knows who she is, even though she doesn't watch these videos. It's a matchbox, number 31, Volkswagen, 1971. Gotta be honest. Oh, look, it's those old wheels again. Do not like that at all. But I'm not a f I've never been a fan of beetles. Uh, the previous beetles I quite liked because there was something somewhat realistic about them, but this one's just sort of like... Hot rod. I'd assume there would have been a massive engine in the back similar to this one. Um, what does it actually say on the bottom? Yeah, Volks Dragon. I might actually look that up, uh, but I'd assume there would have been a really, really big engine in the back of the... Oh, dear. Um, is this... Are they in the box? Nope, its rear axles are not in the box. It's, it's dead. It's dead. What a shame. A Matchbox 1983, let's see. Yeah... Yeah, it's dead. We're sorry, Ace. You you did your best, but you're just going to sort of limp along like that puppy car we had before. <coughs> and then it died. But have no fear, your little brother, even though he's the big brother, is healthy and fit. And here we go. Here's a real American lorry. Yeah. And it's got its axles on the bottom. Does that mean that actually snapped? Yes, the bottom has physically snapped. Um, It's plastic, so that's not surprising. But yes, here's a Matchbox lorry. Oh, this one is very worn on the bottom there. This is 1981. This is Kenworth Aerodrome. I don't know, that's one 1000. England. Nice. I've always liked these. I had one of these, actually, that was black, and its front wheels were missing. And I used it in a project at school and unfortunately disappeared. But the jump cut at the beginning was to find the trailer. Because now we've got a trailer, I 
officer! Yay! Which also means the DAF could technically have some assistance in carrying another vehicle out. Although we're probably not going to do that because that's cheating. But yes, we've got to combine these two items, which means you may have had to wait a week, two weeks, 200 years. Maybe I died and you never see this. But you got to see what this toy and this trailer look like. And you can see the trailer is very bent. And it doesn't matter because they look pretty cool. But once again, because this is not part of the video, it does get to go over there. And I just wanted to show that off for propriety. Car. Actually. Oh my goodness. We've had one of these. It's another duplicate. We've actually had one of these knockoff cars. It's probably not from the same company, but it's got to be from the same mold. Uh, I can't go and find that one because it's in a big box of all my cars. But it is the same. It's the one with the screwed up axle at the back. They've got that weird system that has it go through. And then it clips into this thing, which holds it in place. And if you if it loses from there, then it, it, the axles break. And I actually broke it trying to fix the axles, but I didn't throw it out. So we've got two of these now. This one's made in China. I'm pretty sure the other one was made in Hong Kong. That's really kind of interesting. Was this a common design and I'm just missing things? Are we honestly saying that a Chinese knockoff is more common than half the matchbox we got? I mean, of course it isn't, but, you know, there's probably a hell of a lot more of everything else variety than these. But that's interesting. But we have had one of those. We haven't had one of these. One of these, though. Uh. Uh, uh, I'm looking at the wrong thing on my camera because there's a thing in the way. What this is, is this is a tyre fryer. Tyre fryers! Destroying tyres fast! Mm. Still got a steering wheel. So a little uh, X-based steering wheel. little racing steering wheel the seat for the driver. Scales are, uh, you know, they, they don't really akin. in the 70s and the 80s had very different scales. Or back in the 70s, everybody was a lot larger. And now that gets into the 80s and the, the 90s. And they've got a lot smaller, you know. Yes, yes. Just the way it was in real life. Very sci-fi, that. Don't know what was supposed to go in the front. I'm going to assume it's another form of engine of some kind, probably running over the sides here. Lots of kind of peripheral things missing, but not... It actually rolls. Pre actually, that rolls really well in credit to it. That's actually a pretty nice roller. Don't think I like the car design. It's myself, though. We do, however, have a number six. Tough guys. Racing car. For tough guys with wheels, I don't recognise it. It's probably going to be some kind of Chinese fuck off. It will not bloody keep focused on here. It's really annoying. Yes, made in China. Cheap knockoff. I mean, to be fair, the bodywork is actually fairly solid. You could hit that with a hammer and it will ruin it, but it wouldn't explode, probably. No, I'm not hitting with a hammer. I've already done the video where I hit things with lots of hammers to simulate a lot of years. Playtime. How about Golden Eagle Willie's Jeep with wheels that are way too bloody big? Is that meant to be a Willie's Jeep? Probably is. It's a matchbox. Toys made in my coup. It's a 4x4 Jeep. It's listed as 1981. Do not like. Wheels are too big for my liking, which is a shame because it's got a bird on it. If you didn't know, I like birds, you know? I like birds. There's, there's no denying. I've got a pet pigeon, for God's sake. It's all right. It rolls. It's got that sort of that, that bounce to it that some cars have and others don't. Not a huge fan, though. You'd be surprised if that one gets on the list. Oh, oh, is it, this is probably another Chinese knockoff. This is a Porsche of some kind, for certain. Uh, I didn't know Porsche made convertibles, though, looking at it. But, yeah, Porsche, cheap, wheels. No, it's not a knockoff. It's a bloody Corgi. It is a Porsche. It's a 911. What, am I identifying, like, a Corgi just that poor quality in some regards that they get identified as bloody cheap knockoffs when... They're not. I mean, this is a cheap knockoff, but I prefer this a hell of a lot more to that. Although, again, that's reasons we won't go into. But ugh, do not like. It feels like those um, Maserati thingamajigs, Majori ones that we did. It just doesn't feel right. What does feel right, however, is this. Oh. Wait, what? That's not meant to be there. Okay, there's going to be a story to this, and I don't know what it is. I'm going to assume this is not the original skit that was on there. It's literally a piece of wood that has been, you can see there, it's been bloody glued on. Somebody has glued this on, and looking at it, it's not bad nick. So I'm going to assume that they glued it on for a kid, or it's been used in like a display or diorama somewhere, but there's a bloody story behind that. And where did this piece of wood come from? Oh, goodness gracious. I actually want to know now, and we'll never know, which is the sad thing. We will never know. It's a super fast, because all these things are super fast, let's be fair. 1976 Skip Truck, made in England. It's another one to look up, because it's like, who who did that? Did, did, was this a thing? It, it can't have been a thing. There must have been a skip that comes on and off. 
it's nice. I actually really like it. And I just because it's got that means it's got a hell of a lot more character and personality than you think it would. Just because it's like somebody's done that. Somebody put time and effort into that. That's weird that they didn't put time and effort into is this. Wait a minute. Hang on. This is another dupe. We've had one of these already. It's a Corgi London taxi. We've had one. It was in um, the uh, the first unboxing video that we did. And we used it in one of the uh, sets as well. And it was too big. And its wheels weren't buggered at. Oh, you can't see here. The axles. Again, Corgi axles. Buggered. Don't, you, can, uh, you can tell it's a Corgi. Because it's buggered. Ding. Ah, ah, you bastard. Oh, my goodness. Oh, for a, oh, for a second, I thought we had another duplicate. Um, I mean, it's the same toy, but it's not. It's the same thing, but it's not. Plastic wheels, uh, steering wheel, which is uh, mostly still there. Oh, if you turn it, it turns the actual thing. So it's, oh, okay. So you can actually control it. Um, da, 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 da. Don't know why I'm doing Christmas songs. Don't know what the seat's loose for. Oh, well, what is it? Oh, God, it's tiny text. It's Matchbox. We know that much. 1973, Lesney. It's a rod. I'm just going to read it. A rod roller. It's the rod roller. This is our rod roller. So, judging by the sticker on the front, I'm going to assume this was meant to be like a... a, 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 a you know, it was meant to race these things. It's... <laughs> And then they both crash and die. Great. Something wrong with those wheel colours. They're not very silver, are they? Uh, ooh. That's a noise that anybody who likes Matchbox will recognise. We're doing a lot of bloody ASMR this video, aren't we? And then we get to hear the sounds of wheels travelling. Yeah, I'm full of shit. It's a matchbox indeed. It's a Chevrolet Corvette. There we are. I can read. That's really hard to read through the camera, isn't it? Um, good luck getting the date. I can't get that. I'm going to do this. 1979. That's an interesting one because if we... Um... If we pull up anything from the seventies, they've all got metal bases. You know, here's here's a metal base, but this is a, this is a plastic base. This must be one of the earlier plastic bases, and the wheels they seem a bit they've got a bit of springs on them. Something different about them. It's the color. I'm assuming that somebody as a kid has repainted the wheels, but there's just something off about the color on them. You, you know what I mean? It's like the silver. They're normally silvered. It's just not quite silvered right. Nothing wrong with it. it it's another fairly good roller, a bit of bounce to it, but there ain't nothing wrong. We're coming to the end. I can see four, five, we've got six cars, and there's a couple I can see here that we're saving to the end in a way. What have we got? Oh, well, let's get that one done quickly. Yep. Yeah, these are far more common because this is the third duplicate we've had. Um, this is the third one of these we've had now. Um, yeah, not much to say. I, I, I think I'm going to have to start doing something every time we find one of those. But not one of these. This is a Lesney. Didn't realise that at first. I thought it was another knockoff, but it's not. It's Ranger. And it's got a thing in the back. And we don't know what it does. Does it? Is it? I, I got yeah. So, basically, uh, you can see there, there's a kind of knob on it. So, something would have been attached. When the wheels turn, there'll be a tiny cog down there that causes the centerpiece to revolve. There's probably an elephant or something in the back. What do we have on the bottom? Yeah, Rollomatics, that's the word. We've had a Rollomatics before. A wildlife truck. Yeah, we've had a Rollomatics before. It was the one with um, the light on the top that didn't spin because there wasn't a light and the thing was wheel. But the Rollomatics system, you can't really see it at the angle. But it, it's not actually bad here. This one's actually in pretty nice nick. You can't see through the window, but uh, looking inside, there's uh, there's no cab or anything. It's just the inside. So it's fairly cheap. But ah, there you go. You can see the sort of knobs on the bottom. You see those knobs? They just catch as it goes round. And yeah, there you go. Right, there we go. We can show you the motion. We can show you the motion in the ocean. Thank you, Autofocus, for ruining my life. Not wrong with it. Probably something wrong with this one. It's a Firebird. Oh, it, it, 
It's a firebird. All right, we were never going to beat the firebird. Don't know what's up with the roof of it. I think someone's painted it again. Hey, it's a firebird, though. And let's see what is on the bottom. Oh, it's a Pontiac firebird. Lovely. 1962? No, it's got to be 1982, hasn't it? Well, it's 19 something, too. Yeah, a lot of detail on the bottom. That's not a metal body. Just, it worked. I know the Blues Brothers had nothing to do with this. The Blues Brothers was more closely associated with this. But even so, can you fault me? What's that got to do with the Blues Brothers? I like that. I like a lot of these cars, actually. I like what's coming out of this box more than the previous box, even if we've only got three things left. Um, oh. Oh. Officiales! Officiales! I thought that makes more sense when you look on the side, and it's literally, actually, you know, Tour de France. It's a Tour de France official car. No, I thought it was just a knockoff with bad spelling. No, it's a Tour de France official car with a boot that opens. So this is going to be like a Majori or something. Look at the wheels. They're, they're weird. They're triangular. It's actually quite nice. I thought it was a knockoff, but it's going to be like um, a Majori or something. Yes, I was bloody right about something. Bloody hell. I identified a car correctly, but didn't notice it was a Volvo. I am a god. Or oh, just a man who has far too many toy cars and spends far too long looking at them and, you know, not actually doing anything productive with his life outside of making useless things. And, yeah, that's actually quite nice. Uh, I think it would be an earlier one. It's just today's officials. I thought it was a knockoff, but it's French for officials. God, I'm awful. I am so insensitive. Let's just crack on with this. Oh, look, it's Kellogg's Cornflakes. It's one of these. Yay, great. Final car. Final car. This is the other one in the auction that I saw that piqued my interest. Yeah, definitely the final car. Um... It shouldn't have, but it did because it looks pretty cool. I mean, I'm looking at it right now so I can tell you what it is. Here we go. It's a Dodge. It's just a pickup truck. Big, manly pickup truck. Yeah. For all the ill billies and bastards and everything else. Dodge Dakota 1987. Just a pickup truck. Not wrong with it. Very nice. Appears quite pretty. Not fat. And that's our collection of the cars. But the question is, which ones are going on the daft? Starting with the top row. These are the cars that win. They're the first ones that win, or they can't fit on the top. So I, I don't care. This is a knockoff. It's a cheap, but it's 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 the first one on because for some reason it's perking really big memories. This one is great because somebody's glued that on, and that makes it worthy of the top row. Uh, what else is going on the top row? There's been a lot of really, really good cars in this collection. I'm genuinely impressed. Ah, yeah, it's got to be this one. This is a really nice car on the top row. So that's three for the top. Oh, you're going to roll off. Well, you can go stuff yourself. Now for the bottom now for the bottom row. This is difficult because there's two cars and there's a lot of cars I want to put on here. I mean, let's just... There's that one and that one... That one, that one, that one, and that one. So we got we got six cars to go on the bottom row. That's six cars to go on the bottom row. Well, I'm going to rule the Pontiac out because it's nice, but it's not quite good enough. We've had we've already had a lot of XJSs, so I shouldn't really put this on. I'm going to put the buck on because it's in such nice condition for a Corgi. It's genuinely nice. So you go in there. Which means we've got three cars and we've got one space. Now, I would put the Dakota on, but he's a bit too big. Which means it's going to have to be... <gasps> oh, this is much harder than it should be. Which one of these is the last one to go on the damn thing? <sighs> it's going to have to be the majority, assuming he fits. Because it's just something slightly different and we've seen this before. Mainly because I had one as a kid. Yeah, he fits. So there we go. The daft truck is once again loaded with a selection of vehicles to drive off to the exact same storage as the other ones. And off they go. Tra -la 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 -la. And the rest of you are worthless. Bye! Like, comment, subscribe and all that shit.